I just wanted to say Happy New Year to all of you. I hope you have an absolute brilliant 2022. Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Cyrus and welcome to my channel. Uh, first of all, Happy New Year. Uh, it's finally 2022 and I did my first uh, video of the year uh, for Noel McDonald, uh, which was uploaded at New Year. And this is the part two of that video. I think there are two parts. It's uh, called Noel McDonald Best Jokes Part 1, which is already uploaded. Check it out. And this is No McDonald Best Joke Part 2. And I couldn't decide anything else, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to stick with No McDonald for the very first day of the year, and that's the best way to do it. So, without any delays, let's get to it. So, here we go. You have a dog? Do I have a dog? Yeah. Well, you know what they say what? nature abhors a vacuum. I think that was Newton. Nature abhors a vacuum. But so does my dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a dog. Dance like no one is watching. Sing like no one is listening. Love like you've never been hurt. And fuck like a goddamn retard. <laughs> <laughs> this gotta be my favorite joke. Still booking the store. Yeah. You're booking the comedy store? Yeah. Where you can buy comedy. It's not that kind of store. So. <laughs> yeah. I don't do a lot of... I don't like to sell my comedy. It, again, it's not an actual store. That's just the name. It's a, it's a, just a comedy club. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like this. <laughs> I like the theme that, we're, that this one has. A man in Taiwan reportedly cut off his own penis to win an argument with his wife. That reminds me of that episode of Everybody Loves Raymond, where Raymond forgot Deborah's birthday and had to cut his own cock off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a Las Vegas woman was arrested after hiding a stolen Rolex in her vagina. Well, now Bruce Jenner's just gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Michelle Obama has booked a cameo on the ABC show Nashville. With this and her appearance on iCarly, I think Michelle's ready to start appearing in films. May I suggest my favorite film series, Black Ass Fuckers? <laughs> That's, That's too dirty. Let's do no, a nice not. joke to clean it up. <laughs> Opinions are like assholes. Neil Patrick Harris wants to stop... <laughs> what? Oh, let me read this ahead. <laughs> well, how about this? College freshman Scott. Hold on, I want to hear the rest of the joke, man. That was brilliant. <laughs> I knew. The moment he said Neil Patrick Harris, I knew. I've got a feeling where he's going to go, but I really want to hear it as well. Sorry, I had to pause this because. <laughs> well, how about this? College freshman Scott Damaro, Larry, set a new world record by using his head to bust 142 eggs, and he now officially holds a place in the Guinness Book of fucking retards. <laughs> <laughs> Organist Ray Manzarek died this week at the age of 74. The curse of the doors. <laughs> Do you know what Adam Egert has in common with a guitar player. Adam Egert has in common with a guitar player. Now I don't know. They both love fingering minors. Now, okay. Come on. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> because of droughts all over Europe, scientists are predicting a global shortage of olive oil. Soon the world will know how Popeye felt after the death of his wife. <laughs> olive oil. <laughs> Remember how fucking skinny and ugly she is? I was going to fuck her. Uh, and how big, yeah, big Ethel would chase Jughead. <laughs> well, let's not get into Jughead. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I went too far. My favorite George Miller joke. I played a great club here in the city. Catch a rising star. Boy, that's a good club. But across the street, they have a tough club. We've been there. Snub a bombing has been. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday was bringing your daughter to work day, which was awkward for Adam Egit. Do you know how hard it is to fuck a horror with her kid on the edge of the bed playing Nintendo? <laughs> what the mean, fuck? That is a hard job. <laughs> Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, but I invented the light bulb up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was ahead of his time. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, the guy who did the voice of Charlie Brown, he was arrested for stalking his girlfriend this week. He also said the next time Lucy grabs away the football, he's going to cut that bitch. <laughs> Pain and Gain, the new movie directed by Michael Bay. Reviewers are calling it everything from shit to fucking shit. Uh, <clears throat> if tampons are called sanitary napkins, how unsanitary must regular napkins be? <laughs> Can you see like George Carlin doing that or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look at this one. Uh, researchers in... Uh, Bermuda believe they may have uh, finally solved part of the mystery surrounding Amelia Earhart's disappearance. She was a bad pilot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Not my fault. Bermuda. She didn't go down anywhere near Bermuda. What do you call a gay boxer? Huh? What do you call a gay boxer? No, McDonald. No. <laughs> <laughs> the Blue Man Group has been forced by the federal government to hire an orange man and a purple woman. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. <laughs> I was raised in a broken home. My father was a drunk carpenter. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most popular documentaries on Netflix is Jiro... Jiro Dreams of Sushi? Jiro Dreams of Sushi. I've seen that. It's very good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One of the least popular documentaries, Jiro Night... <laughs> Zero nightmares of asteroids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where do you get these jokes? Ah, some guy. Here. This is an these actual joke. Norm jokes. This is an actual joke. It's kind of a weird feeling watching the Flintstones lately. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, watching the Flintstones? Sure. Yeah, now, yeah. How so? With their Stone Age driving movies and yeah. their cavemen bowling, it just seems so Dated. It does. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> we were talking about uh, easy as pie. Easy as pie. You know what's not easy as pie? Baking and fucking actual pie. Is <laughs> 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 it saying actually fucking in there? Hey, yeah. <laughs> now, do you know how to be Ed McMahon during this? Well, you have to read. Okay. The, I have to. I... Mount Baldy. <laughs> Mount Baldy. Mount Baldy. Mount, ba <laughs> Mount Baldy. Yeah, Mount Baldy. <laughs> what did you old Brenner's wife do on their wedding night? <laughs> <laughs> here's one. Here's one that's good for you. Right I used to think revenge was a dish best served cold, but then I realized it meant getting back at somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Some gold-plated chains would make a nice retirement gift for a very, very good slave. <laughs> what the? <laughs> it's a lie. Are you serious? <laughs> well, this was written. Are you serious? This was written years Did ago. Did you just write that? I didn't write Did it. Did you just say that? No, I read it. Yes. Do you know the Harlem, sh the Harlem Shake? Yeah, I've seen it on okay. every single. You've commercial. You've seen it. Then you'll appreciate <laughs> this joke. I remember back when the Harlem Shake was just a back black fella holding me upside down off a fire escape trying to collect his money. <laughs> Remember the good old days back when MILF stood for mentally ill ladies I'd like to fuck? <laughs> <laughs> do you have a writing staff? Oh, yeah. You do? We have Steve O'Donnell. These are really good. Um, Jenny McCarthy recently got engaged to former new kid on the block, Donnie Wahlberg. They plan to marry on Retard Island. <laughs> <laughs> Percy is your dad? Yeah. I didn't I'd, remember that. I'd never heard anyone else's wow. name Percy. Any remember person when you came and visited life. the set of, uh, Andy, of uh, Man on the Moon? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and, and, I was also and, in the film. <laughs> 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 That's a comedy goal. I know I'm not the most attractive man in the world. As a matter I mean, of fact, when, when women look at me, I can tell they're overdressing me with their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> His That's girlfriend, he had a, what do you call that list? Oh, the, uh, if yeah, you can, you can a freebie or whatever. A freebie. Yeah. Uh, so he picked Angelina Jolie and Jennifer Aniston. His girlfriend picked the milkman. <laughs> 
don't know. Are there any yeah, milk? Have milk. <laughs> I don't think there's any milk, man. <laughs> we rip all these from When Steve I Allen's die, room. I want to be cremated. And my ashes spread eagle and fucked, fucked hard <laughs> like a fucking real tramp. Wow, come on. I didn't mean to say that. Wow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've noticed that Hotel Rwanda has a great score on Rotten Tomatoes, but their Yelp reviews are terrible. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, growing up, I had a dog with an eating disorder. He wouldn't eat any of my homework. <laughs> The World no, Cup like has that. arrived, so if you're wondering why your local bar smells, it's because all of the dirty foreigners. How many comedians does it take to screw in a light bulb? How many? Two. One to do it, and the other guy to go, how long has he been up there? <laughs> a Swedish Bond girl, Britt Eklund, told Piers Morgan this week that she was seduced by Warren Beatty after the legendary Lothario took her to an X-rated movie for their first date. This is what I have to say about that. Hey, Warren, stop stealing my moves. <laughs> Mickey Mantle knew two things, drinking and playing drunk baseball. <laughs> <laughs> a Miami, Florida pimp is in custody after forcing a 13-year-old prostitute to have his name tattooed on her eyelids when she threatened to run away from him. Roman Thomas III faces charges of human trafficking, false imprisonment, lewd and lascivious exhibition, and delivery of a controlled substance to a child. You know, I know the scriptures say, judge not lest ye be judged, but you know, I'm just gonna come out and say it. This Roman Thomas III guy, this guy's a real jerk. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun doing jokes. Yeah. So that was Norm Macdonald, uh, best jokes part two, and there were some really, really good jokes. I absolutely loved it, but I can't believe they never finished the uh, Neil Patrick Harris joke because I was so much looking forward to it. I knew uh, I had a feeling it was gonna be some fucked up shit, but still, joke to joke. Like I don't give a shit. And uh, 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 what do you call it? The guy who said uh, when I die. Uh, I want him cremated and fucked hard. I want him, like, that was a really, really good joke. And then there were some really, like, subtle, easy jokes, which gives me a laugh because I do enjoy, as much as I love a dark joke, but uh, every now and then there's this tiny, small joke that I really, it really does give me a big laugh and I really enjoy those as well. And this was just as funny as the first one. Like, I, like, this is exactly, you get exactly what you are looking for from Norm because he delivers everything uh, that you're looking for. Like, I really, really did enjoy that. And I'm, uh, as I mentioned, I'm I'm gonna continue doing Norm McDonald, but I'm gonna add a couple of more uh, new comedians uh, going forward. So keep an eye on for that. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. And I'll see you guys next time. And once again, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2022.